<laughs> Shannon, is there any truth to what he's saying? No. This notion that guys don't compete on the court anymore is overblown. The idea that the players in the 80s and 90s competed harder is overblown. Because the Pistons personally maybe didn't like Jordan, that doesn't mean the entire league didn't like Jordan. So Al wants us to believe that when he went up against Steven Jackson or Matt Barnes or guys that he didn't play, that he knew he didn't play hard. He like, bro, go and get you 40. Let your boy get 35. Is that how it's going, Al? I'm, I'm just asking. I don't know. He's but, just talking about Jordan. No, but, but, but I'm saying, hold on. So you said, so he said, no, guys didn't compete. Guys weren't buddy-buddy. Guys weren't buddy-buddy because they didn't play on AAU teams. They didn't travel. Zion Williams and John Moran was on the same AAU team. So they're supposed to act like now they get in the NBA. We don't even know you, bro. I, I don't know him. Kendrick Perkins and, and LeBron played on the same AAU team. So they get to the NBA, they supposed to act like they don't know each other. Mm. It's different now because the world, even though it's, Expanding with people is getting closer, Skip, because of social media, because people are together. Yep. But this notion that everybody hated Michael Jordan is just mm. not true. Mm. Maybe the maybe the Pistons went out of their way to do things, but I don't think the early uh, Sixers did, went out of their way to do anything to Jordan because he couldn't beat them. The big three Celtics didn't go out of their way to do anything. The Lakers didn't go out of their way to do anything. This notion that people hated Jordan is just not true. This notion that Jordan had no friends. Jordan didn't golf with anybody. Jordan didn't go to Vegas with anybody. Jordan didn't play cards with anybody. And that's all he did. Man, stop this notion. Every chance people get, they try to belittle LeBron because LeBron's 37 and he's still doing things. And even when they say he's washed up and he can't do this, he's playing longer and being greater than anybody thought that he would. Mm. But, yeah, bro, if you want to skip, I got no problem. You and I debate this, and we're going to debate this until as long as we, you and I are together. LeBron Jordan. If you want to say Jordan, I will debate you. But don't try to demean LeBron for what the man has done by saying the competition. There was no Kevin Durant in the 80s and the 90s. There was no Steph Curry's in the 80s and the 90s. There was none of that. So this notion that the players now are softer, they're not, the players now are more skilled than in the 80s and the 90s. Okay. You're, you're missing the point. This wasn't about everybody hating Jordan. It's about Jordan hating everybody else. And he, he did have no friends. You can say Barkley for a while was in his. So who was he golfing with? Well, name somebody. I mean, who? He, 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 he golfed with Skip. He golfed he golf with Danny Ainge. He okay, golfed with... that, that was before a finals game. But yeah, that was before and, and that that was, a playoff game. Well, before, yeah, before a playoff, playoff game. game. Right. Yeah. That was for big money. That was, you want a piece of me? Let's go play. Let's kill. Okay? It, it, it was nothing friendly about it. Not that he wasn't civil so to I, Danny I, Ainge. I, I, I've never heard of So who golfs with people that they're not friendly with? You just, so Michael you, Jordan, you want to bet on this? Because that's all he did was bet. It is cold-blooded No, no, no war. Skip, I'm not saying okay. that he did. You, you, you play people you want to win money let from. Let me ask you a question. There's no friendly to it. Skip, so, so when you go to the golf club, so you play, so you partner, so you go tee off with people you have no idea. You okay, don't know. Okay, but that's different. I'm not Michael Jordan. He Skip, plays for money. Skip, just because you get, Skip, okay, just because. Okay, but he's willing. Remember, the whole book was written about this gambler who used yes. to play for millions of dollars but, over time against Michael but, Jordan, But he's right? gambling with people that he okay, knows. But they weren't friends. Okay, no, he's playing for big stakes money against anybody. He, he's playing with fastest guns in the West. Come on, you think they're going to go have a beer after? No, they are not. No, they're going to pay up. He only playing, Skip, you can't go say, okay, I want to play you when you don't know what this guy's handicap is. You go play, he go say, I want to play this guy with golf. And this guy's a scratch golfer, and he takes five, six million. Michael Jordan knew everybody that he was golfing against. He knew. No, not, that's not true. Skip, no, you're that's not, not skip, true. Skip. He, he'll do anything against anybody. Skip. He is high stakes. Skip, I get that. I'm not saying that he will not gamble for money. But you better be careful talking about whether it's shooting pool. I've seen guys... Oh, that guy, guys hustle you out of money Hustlers. because you don't know what they're doing. This guy, all of a sudden, you see him spraying the ball, and you're like, hey, bro, you want to play around? Yeah, sure. What you, what you got okay. on it? You don't think Michael got hustled a few times? I think he did. Yes. Because he's gullible that way. Like, he'll try anybody anyway. Skip, all I'm saying, Skip, so let me ask you a question. Do you think the big three Celtics, did you think they hated or liked LeBron? Big three Celtics, I don't know.
Okay, that's Kevin that's, Garnett. Okay, you're, you're, you're sort of overlapping eras. No, no. I'm, okay. the, hold on. LeBron played in the era, so we got the crew the era okay. that he played in. Okay, but let's go back to Al Harrington's premise here. He's saying that in in Jordan's era, they didn't f with each other. There was no homeboys in the off season. There, there was. Not, he's talking about Jordan. About Jordan. There, there was no. Let's go to the clubs in the summer. He, Jordan didn't do that. Again, Barkley was sometimes part of his entourage, but trust me, Michael viewed Barkley as a court jester for a while. So, so like he was, he he just amused. So, jo- so because Jordan, so Jordan had the only way to. So Magic and Isaiah doing things and going on vacation together, and Mark Aguirre uh-huh. and the other guy. So only Jordan got the blueprint. The, that's the only way that you can win. I wonder if, if there's only one way you can operate a business. If somebody say, well, if you're doing that wrong. Man, this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous that somebody said the only way to do anything in sports is the way Michael Jordan did it. Okay. Because that's seemingly what Al is saying. Let's switch to LeBron. LeBron has dominated, said Al Harrington, an era of his little bros. LeBron's notorious for keep your, what I always tell you, it's the godfather. It's keep your friends close and your enemies closer. I've never seen anything like what happened in the 2016 NBA Finals when Draymond Green called very audibly LeBron James the B word mm-hmm. during game four, yelled it out, you B. Okay. And they go up the court and they get tangled up and Draymond dares to kick him in the midsection, okay. which Draymond had already done to Steven Adams early in the playoffs. Right. And because of that, Kiki Vandeway, then the the minister of, of discipline. discipline, said, you're out for game five. I suspend you for game I'd never... I didn't think I'd ever see the day that a pivotal piece of a championship team would get suspended for a game five of the NBA finals. And I'm thinking, God, also, Draymond called him the B word. Would anybody have ever thought to call Michael Jordan the B word? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, they did it. No. Yeah, they did. No, no, no. Yes, they wouldn't they have did. dared to. Yes, they did. Because so, that they would have lived to regret it because so, he would have. Okay, so, okay, so here's the thing, them. Skip. Okay. Okay, so no, you, wait a second. I got to finish. Okay. Draymond. That we get to the offseason and I look up and wait a second, Draymond has become LeBron's business partner. It's almost like he bought him off. And the next thing I know, Draymond's on the shop with LeBron, sitting in one of the chairs in the okay. shop like they're best buddies right. now. You're kidding me. Oh, because see, because here's the thing. Okay, because if somebody criticizes LeBron, uh, uh, Michael Jordan or says something negative about Michael Jordan and he's unforgiving mm-hmm. and he will cut them out of his life, that makes Michael Jordan a great guy. He's cold-blooded killer. Okay, fine, Skip. He's assassin. Skip, that's fine. But that's not the only way to win titles. That's not the only no, way to win. That's the way he did, and he was okay. the greatest Okay, ever. Okay, Skip, that's the way he did it. Okay. Magic Johnson didn't do that. Magic Johnson is just successful, as, as successful in business. Junior Bridgman, who wasn't a great basketball player, is just as successful in business. Okay, but they weren't Michael Jordan. But, that's the, but see, the thing is, Skip, Michael Jordan doesn't have a patent on winning and how to do it. You got to stop this. Other guys got to stop this notion that if you don't do it like Michael Jordan, it's wrong. Okay, but how many times do I look up and LeBron has tweeted at an upcoming Ja Morant, you know, rising Give star? Give the guy credit. Okay, but, but he tweets, I see you, young fella. You know, like, yes. like I'm, I'm going to take you under my wing here. No. You know, you're, you're my little bro. LeBron, that, that's how he does this is business. What, no, no, this is what LeBron does. LeBron James says, if I'm an open book. If you want to ask me a question about how to get how to navigate the the NBA, because very few people, Tiger Woods when he started when he became he reached out to the only person that he knew that could possibly understand what he was going through. Mm. That was one Michael Jordan. Mm. If you come into the NBA and you are a phenom, there's not a whole lot of guys that's navigated the social media age and has come in with such fanfare as one LeBron James. LeBron James is not like a lot of people. A lot of people get the sauce and won't tell you some of the ingredients. LeBron James said, if you want to know about basketball, I got you. You want to know how to start a production company? I got you. You want to know how to uh, uh, ingratiate yourself with brands? I got you. Mm. Skip, there's nothing wrong with that. We should applaud that, that the man is willing to help those. Yet we condemn him and, can, can, and, 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 and praise Jordan for holding all that to himself. Okay, but... I've said this a thousand times on this show. I believe there's some insecurity on LeBron's part operating. Maybe it's here. On insecurity on, Le- on Michael Jordan's part. Mm-hmm. No, I see the other way. So why? So okay. why? Why insecurity is Michael- on LeBron's part? Why? Because he wants to keep these kids under wing. Like 
I want you to love me. I want you to respect me. I don't want you to threaten me. I want you to stay right there because I am the king. I want you to treat so me what, like so the when, king. So when, when Tim Duncan said he wasn't in the off and he had nothing, hey, he's a great player, but I ain't got I, that's what it is. Then you, what, what, so what about that? Well, against Jordan? Yes, yeah. what he said. That's what he said. He said he wasn't the biggest fan of Michael Jordan. Tim okay, Duncan. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, then. Tim so Duncan had his own dynasty. Oh, oh. He almost won more championships than Jordan. Okay, right? so so what is LeBron? Y'all make it see the people make it seem like LeBron got one title. Like LeBron got no got one MVP. Like LeBron is not gonna be have 40,000 10 and 10. Mm. I mean, I, I don't get this. I don't I believe I believe that you can praise Michael Jordan without trying to suppress anything that LeBron James has done. Okay. But, but Al asked a great question. What star ha has LeBron had it with, as in had beef with? Or Why had do you got to have with? beef with a star? Okay. Is there anybody? Okay, no. let me ask you a question. No. What, what star has Peyton Manning had beef with? I don't care about Peyton Manning. I care See? about Michael Jordan See? and LeBron exactly. James. Because, well, I don't care about no, because It's yeah. different. Why do you got to have beef? Why? What team has LeBron had it with? So, so the beef three Celtics. So the big three Celtics. I, I don't know. There was no bad blood between them. Kevin got see there you go now. So Kevin Garnett, Paul Pierce, they had no bad blood with LeBron. You just said they made it run to Miami. Well, did they make it all out see, war? See, did they talk about each see, other in the press? So now I, you got, I never read any bad. So now quotes. you got to talk about somebody in the press. See, you keep changing the you keep changing, I'm not the, changing argument. the marriage. I, did the big three Celtics had beef with it? Did the NBA dislike have beef LeBron? with who? LeBron. No. I, I didn't know of any. No, but okay, let me ask you a question. When he left and went to Miami, did everybody was everybody happy with LeBron? I, I mean, the, did, the, the truth. Okay, the truth was the big three Celtics made LeBron quit. See? Well, but, well, but how you make him quit? You ain't got no beef with it. They had no beef with him. Well, they didn't they have beef with him because I don't think they respected him. They, they made him quit Paul what? Pierce never respected what, what, LeBron. And, and guess what happened? And Paul Pierce has said things publicly about he doesn't have a lot of respect for LeBron. Okay, that's fine, Skip. Okay? It's not beef. Beef is 50-50. Skip. Like it's that's, bad blood. Okay, but it's let me, war. But let me ask you a question. Has that stopped LeBron from accomplishing anything? It's made him four and six in the finals. Oh, so, 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 so what about the regular season? So what about the MVPs? What about all the championships? So what about all the points? Okay, so what? What's your point? You know, but my point is, is that because Jordan did it this way, that is the only, in your mind, if Michael Jordan didn't do it, no, no, everybody else, Kevin, what Kevin Durant's doing, it doesn't matter because Jordan didn't do it that way. Okay. This guy didn't do it that way. And that's a, fool, that's a foolish way to think. Okay, here's the bottom line of this that I've said from the very start on this show and the other show. Michael Jordan was the, the coldest-blooded killer I've ever seen as a basketball player. LeBron is one of the nicest guys who's ever come along as a superstar to a fault. He's a nice guy. How he that wants a fault? to be everybody's friend, and he wants everybody to like him. But Skip, how that a fault? That's not a way to dominate your era. Skip, so he didn't dominate his era. He's four and six in the finals. So, so LeBron, so He's I lost would six so, finals. Okay, Skip, I get that. So LeBron James did not dominate his era. Not in the finals. Well, oh, he didn't. He, he lost six. Jordan went six and zero. Oh. So because Jordan went six and zero, oh, Jordan is the end all be all. Yes. Yes, thank you. You finally came to the oh, okay. 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 So, so, how, so let me ask you a question. So why is he better than Bill Russell? Mm. Just, we do different eras. No, 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 different era. It was a different era. Yep. LeBron James was a different era. Mm -hmm. So let's do different eras. Well, That's I, not what I you do. I believe LeBron dominated his era more than Bill Russell did. Huh? No, 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 no. Bill Russell dominated his era more than Michael Jordan mm -hmm. did. No. I, I, how do you get to, how do you get 11 championships in 12 years if you don't dominate an era? Competition I'm much more. Oh, not competition. So, so you keep changing the argument. Circles. No, I'm not we're changing. So, never had that argument. Let me ask you a question. What guy did the Michael Jordan go against that's Kevin Durant equivalent? Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.